Alright you guys, it's no secret that Vince Carter and Evan Turner want out of Toronto, so over here I prepared a very good looking trade to present to the New Orleans Pelicans GM. So you can see I'm calling him with an offer of Vince Carter and Evan Turner for Ryan Anderson. And in fact, I was even able to swindle them out of a first round draft pick for this year and they were willing to accept this. So I was very happy when I was able to pull this trade off. It should definitely boost our team chemistry. We also now have a power forward that's able to come off the bench without complaining about it because I believe Ryan Anderson does currently play the sixth man role for the Pelicans. If not, I remember there was a time where he once did come off the bench and he was completely fine with it. So you can see I'm getting interviewed by the, uh, about this right now and you can see I'm very excited about our new team. But that's not it. I have much more trades coming. I also know that Jonas Valanciunas is kind of fed up where he is playing in the rotation right now. And that's mainly because we have three very good centers that are easily able to start. We have Chris Bosh, we have JJ Hickson, and we have Jonas Valanciunas. So I know what you guys might be thinking, why would you trade JJ Hickson and not Jonas Valanciunas or Chris Bosh? Well, Chris Bosh is already an established starter. He's a great starting center for us and I would love to keep him there. He, JJ Hickson is already 26 years old and Jonas Valanciunas is one of the original players that stayed on my roster that I I actually want to keep around just for the sake of developing him and I see him as more of the future of the Toronto Raptors along with DeMar DeRozan, Andrew Wiggins and of course Terrence Ross. So you could see I am willing to offer JJ Hickson for Harrison Barnes and Shabazz Muhammad but they wanted a little bit more than that. The Magic are actually desperately trying to trade Harrison Barnes at this point so I decided to part with my Warriors first round pick to get this deal done. Harrison Barnes is incredibly valuable because we don't have a single small forward on the roster except for Chris Walker who was actually my second round pick despite being ranked number six in the 2013 recruiting class and um, I eventually am able to pull off the trade which is amazing because Harrison Barnes is cool with coming off the bench he's young tons of potential the former preseason all-american for North Carolina I'm excited to have him on our team and very excited to have him backing up Andrew Wiggins and you can see at this point we have a very very exciting bench and I think that this team could go very far and very deep into the playoffs and Jonas Valanciunas should be happy with this trade as well so let me know what you guys think about these moves moves because this is the roster I want to stick with and I should be able to come at you guys with the gameplay debuting this new group tomorrow.